Hi guys, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. So happy to have you all here with me today. If you're new, welcome. My name is Brenda, and in today's video, we are trying to do shabby chic. You have to let me know how I did. It's my first attempt, and I'm not quite sure. So, with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, here is DIY number two, and I started with this picture frame that I bought from the thrift store. Uh, some paper from Hobby Lobby and some Sola wood flowers. Now that picture frame I got for 99 cents and it was originally $15.99 from Hobby Lobby. So I took my uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster and I give it a good, I think I had to give it like two coats of paint um, front and back. And once I got it all painted, I took that paper and cut it down to size, and then I'm just going to stick it inside of that um, picture frame. And this project is halfway done. <laughs> this is a very easy, easy project. And um, I, then I'm going to take my elephant chalk paint, and I'm going to do a dry brushing all along it to bring out those details. Now. If you don't have this certain frame, you can use any kind of frame that has a pretty decorative design on it. So don't feel bad because it's not a Dollar Tree item. You can even find some of those at Dollar Tree. Then I took this spool of um, like pearls from the Dollar Tree and I think they're like four or five pearls across. Well, I'm cutting it down to two and then I'm just cutting it down to size and then I'm hot gluing them onto the frame uh, all the way around in between where the glass is and where that pretty design starts. And then once I get that all on there, I think it looks really pretty, but it needed more. So I took these little hearts that I got from Hobby Lobby in the wedding section, and it's basically burlap with lace over it. And I'm just hot gluing them to the bottom of uh, that uh, frame. Then I'm taking the Sola wood flowers and hot gluing them on top of those hearts. Now if you don't know what Sola wood flowers are, I would encourage you to look them up. I will put a link in my description box, but they're amazing. They're beautiful little flowers. You can um, order them uh, colored like I did, or you can order the natural color and order dyes and dye them yourself to make your own colors. And then I took some of this lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I'm just tying a little shoestring bow. Sorry, it's not in frame. And then I'm going to um, hot glue that to the top of that frame as well. And I believe once I dovetail the ends that that is the final of the step. <laughs> and there it is. I think it turned out really pretty. I really love it. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think. Sorry about the lighting on this, guys. I was doing this at night, and the lighting in the room wasn't the greatest. Hey, if you haven't, aren't following me already, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Rustic and Lace Doc, or Rustic and Lace DIY, or you can also buy me a coffee. Um, and if you do, I will give you a shout out on my next video. And so the next DIY, I bought this, I believe at Goodwill for $4. And then this metallic paint I got at Walmart. And I just loved this color. And I don't remember what the color is, so I will um, make sure it's in my description box. But I started painting this frame. I did clean the frame really good before I started painting it. But you're gonna see, I'm gonna stop here. And I realized that that paint is kind of thin, so it's kind of sheer. And so a, a lot of that dark color was showing through. So I took a baby wipe and I just wiped it off and then I painted it with my Waverly white chalk paint. And then I went back over that white with the purple color. And that was, uh, that was more what I was looking for for the color. It brightened it right up. Then I got this tissue paper from Hobby Lobby and I cut it down to fit the size of that glass. And I'm going to use my Mod Podge and I am going to um, put some Mod Podge all over the front of that glass piece. Then I will very gently <laughs> lay the tissue paper on top of that. Now when you're working with tissue paper and Mod Podge, you wanna be very gentle because it can rip really easy. So I am um, 
just kind of smoothing it down very gently. And then once I get that done, I got this doily from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna cut it in half. And I'm gonna use this to be kind of like a pocket for the flowers. Um, but once I cut it down, I realized it was still too big. So I just kind of cut it in a V shape. Um, and then once I get that all cut, I am going to use some hot glue and I'm going to glue it on the bottom and on the side edges to make like a pocket so I can, so it can hold those flowers in it. And guys, the buy me a coffee, um, it's not mandatory. It's not expected, but it would be appreciated. It's just a way to help support me. But if you want other ways to support me, you can also make sure you like my video, comment, subscribe, and share it with others. That's, those are all good ways. And also make sure you watch the ads. That's how um, we get paid as YouTubers is by people who watch those ads. So that would be very appreciative as well. So then I took this wood heart that I got from the Dollar Tree and I painted it that same purple color. And I'm going to hot glue that right in the middle of that lace pocket there. And then I took some of these butterfly stickers that I also got from the Dollar Tree and I hot glued one right in the front. And then I remembered I had this adhesive pearl strips that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just thought that would be a little easier than trying to hot glue those little pearls on. So I went ahead and just lined the whole picture frame with those uh, pearl strips. And then once I got all of that done, I um, also I did outline the heart there, as you can see too, with those pearls. I took some more of that lace uh, ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I am uh, just tying a shoestring bow and I'm gonna hot glue that right on top. And then I'm going to add another butterfly in the middle of that bow as well. And then I took some, um, oh, some more of those pearls and I am just outlining the, um, the doily, the lace doily there, because it just looked too unfinished. So this just helped make it look a little more finished with the pearl around the edge. And I think it came out looking pretty. And then I took these stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree and they had like these little corner scrolly looking things. So I'm just sticking them on each corner and then that finishes this DIY. And I think it came out really pretty. Again, I'm not positive. I kept looking at my stuff thinking, I don't know if I have enough stuff for Shabby Chic, but this is my version of it. You have to let me know what you think, but I love it. It's going in my bathroom. All of these are gonna be going in my bathroom. Uh, my bathroom is purple, which is my favorite color. So I, I really think it's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, DIY number three is this uh, little um, vase. Now, I got this at um, the thrift store as well. It says it's $1.98, but it was 50% off, so I basically got it for a dollar. And what I do is I clean it really good. I take that jute twine off the neck, and I did scrape off that little turkey picture as well, but I didn't want to bore you with it. <laughs> then I took my uh, plaster color and Waverly chalk paint and I painted the whole vase. Then I went on Cricut Design Space and I found this uh, lavender image and I am just transferring it onto the bottle. I was really hoping to find something that looked a little more vintage or French or old fashioned, but unfortunately I couldn't find anything and I'm not good enough to know how to make something like that, so I, um, just use this. So then I took this antiquing Mod Podge and I decided since it didn't look real um, old, this picture, I would try and make it look old. So I put that Mod Podge all around that image as well as all over the vase and it really gives it a real yellowish tinge to it, which really makes it look old and I really like that. Then I add some of these lavender picks that I got from the Dollar Tree. I love lavender. And so I bought quite a bit this summer, or this spring when it came out. And I took some more of those adhesive pearls and I am just outlining the front part of that base with those pearls. And this one, guys, I, 
um, when I was done, I kept thinking I wanted to do more, but I wasn't sure what to do with it. So you have to let me know what you think you would have done to it. So then I took this lace that I got from Hobby Lobby and it had a little like gathering at the top, which didn't let it lay flat. So I trimmed that piece off and I was going to tie it around the neck, but I wasn't really happy with it. So you'll see that I take it off here and I'm going to tie it around the body. But unfortunately, it wasn't long enough to have any tails on it. And the other piece that I had left wasn't long enough. So I went ahead and tied a knot and then I grabbed the second piece, trimmed it up and just added it, tied it um, to that piece and just tied a knot there that way. And then that way I had um, some tails that I could work with. And I do trim the tails up, up a little. I didn't want it to be that long. <laughs> and then I took these keys that I got, these wooden little die cut keys that I got from Dollar Tree. They come like six in a container. And I painted it with that same purple. And then here I'm just adding some twine to it. And then I'm going to attach that twine to that uh, lace knot so that way it kind of hangs down from the bottle there. And I, you can see in that picture, I have one of those little lace hearts. I kept trying to figure out a way to put the lace heart on there, but I wasn't able to really come up with what would look good with it. Maybe if I would have poked a hole through it and had it hanging with the key, that might have been kind of cute. I um, hmm. wish I would have thought about that then. <laughs> uh, anyways, it is what it is. Um, so you'll have to let me know what you think. Like I said, let me know what you might have done differently to make this be a little more shabby chic. Because I know a shabby chic, you just kind of want to continue adding elements. So then I took some more of those adhesive pearls and I didn't, they're like five across and I just left it that size and just trimmed it to fit around the neck of that base. Then I'm taking that same purple and I'm just painting the rim of that base and then I think that is all. Once that is painted, I just add the flowers back in and there it is. And I think it's really pretty. Um, you'll have to let me know if it's shabby chic or Brenda chic. <laughs> uh, anyways, it's going to be in my bathroom. It will make my, my eyes happy and my heart sing when I'm in there taking a bath next time. Okay, and for the final DIY, it's this pretty little tray. This was a mirror that I bought. Both of those mirrors, um, I think they were like $5. You're only going to see what I do with one of them because I'm going to show the next one in a different video. Um, but I just take them apart and give them a good cleaning. And then I take them out and I spray paint them with that white spray paint. And once it's dry, I took that purple paint and I am just doing like a dry brushing all along that uh, frame with it. Now, afterwards, I wasn't happy with how bright of white it was. So I do go in with some of my uh, plaster um, or I think it was ivory chalk paint and just kind of try to tone down some of the white. Then I trim the, uh, the pick, sorry, the paper down to fit the picture and I put the mirror behind the paper and then I just secure it all into that frame and I just think it's pretty I love that paper I just think it's so beautiful then I got these handles that I bought on clearance at um, Hobby Lobby I think they were $1.24 each and I give it two good coats of my Waverly chalk paint in the color white I think it was either white or plaster and then once they were dry, I added some of that purple to it as well. But first, I used my super glue and my accelerant to attach it to the um, frame. And I will have a link in my description box to that accelerant. And just in case you don't know, I do post where I buy everything. And then anything I buy online, I do leave links in my description box. So you can always take a look in there for um, any of the items that I am using. And if I forget to add something, you can always message me and I will let you know. Then I decide to take the antique Mod Podge and I'm going to brush it all over that paper for a couple reasons. One, to 
um, secure it, to, to seal it, but also to give it a little more of an antique look so it wasn't so bright. And then I went ahead and used that same Mod Podge to go over the frame as well. And I do the same thing all over the frame and it really does help um, tone down that white and give it a little more yellowish tone to make it look more old. And that is that for that project. And there you go. The final reveal. And again, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, yeah, I will be doing that again. At, at the end of the video, guys, I put in um, some before and afters of my craft room. I wanted to join J uh, Heidi Sambles craft uh, makeover but I didn't have it done in time so I thought I would go ahead and anybody who wants to watch it they can stay tuned and watch what it looked like before and the final reveal feel of how nice it is now but if you're gonna leave you have a great weekend or great week whatever and we'll see you next week thanks for joining bye bye okay here is the messy craft room oh my gosh let me tell you there was stuff everywhere i had baskets full of signs and stuff from dollar tree and stuff from thrift floors and thrift floors oh my gosh thrift stores <sighs> i had all those signs hanging on the wall in no specific order everything was kind of organized but not really they're more thrown into those cubicles. I bought those cubicles uh, from someone on Facebook. I bought that little shoe holder from Walmart and had all my ribbons in it, and but they were always falling out. Um, I had just stuff everywhere, and I was fed up with it. And when I saw that Heidi Sambol was going to have that craft room organization, I thought, oh, I'm going to join it, but. With my family reunion, I ran out of time and didn't have enough time to get it all done beforehand. So um, it did take a couple weeks, but I wasn't working on it the whole time. It probably took me three days maybe altogether to really get it organized. But as you see, I have like this little aisle to the closet um, to get to it. And uh, yeah, it was a mess. So enjoy this video you'll see here in just a few minutes how i cleaned it up and how much better it is in fact it kind of shocked me when i walked into it the next morning because i forgot that it was clean <laughs> but it was a good shock <laughs> okay so here is the final project of my craft room organization I it was a mess guys it was a disaster I had just a small little path to my closet because I had all these signs and stuff on the floor so I cleaned it all out I organized all my flowers um, I bought this organizer to hang up and use some more shelving in there um, I do need to put some tags on those two bins in there because I don't remember exactly what I put in there um, and that will help me remember uh, my sewing machine those two bins guys those are rubber stamps that I have had since the 90s and I just have not been able to let go of them um, so at some point I do need to dig them out and do something with them but um, this just has like some thrifted stuff those two containers right there are just full of um, little odds and ends things that I don't want to throw away that I might be able to use um, then I just have some of my signs here I got a lot of signs that I bought at Hobby Lobby when they were like 75% off last winter um, and I got them for like 79 cents and a dollar fifty and that kind of stuff I bought this organizer off of Amazon as well and I just have all my little floral things um, in it and then I have foam cord boards and um, poster board I have a whole bunch of those black can't see them uh, Dollar Tree fences back there and then just some of the bigger wood pieces and those flowers that I have bought and I bought this uh, shoe holder from Walmart and it just fits around the door 
so I can just put miscellaneous stuff in them. I still want to organize this at some point, but um, I've spent a lot of time in here and I'm ready to get to crafting. Then I have, um, this is where my TV is so I can watch crafting shows and those trays right there I bought at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love them. They were 50% off so I think I'm going to make another tier tray out of them and put that, uh, replace the one in my kitchen with that one. And then some more jars and candles and then up here I have all my wreath forms hanging. And then I had my husband put up some more shelves there and I got some more bins and then I just labeled them all. And then I put some command strips up there so I could hang my longer signs. Um, and then I got this little cubicle from uh, Amazon as well. It's super easy, in fact, I'd buy them again. They're really easy to put together. It's just kind of a heavy plastic. And I just, I really liked it. You can put them, you know, if you don't want them three across, you could do two across and go higher or four across and go lower. Um, I considered buying more, but I don't really have space for it in here. And then those cubicles I bought from someone off of Facebook. Um, so I just basically got cubes to put in all of them. And I think that looks much better because it doesn't look so messy and everything is um, kind of stashed away in those little cube bins uh, and then I got um, just some little storage containers these are just M&M and peanut containers uh, that I just recycled and thought they'd be great for putting my beads and uh, scrabble letters in there and then I got some of these candle or candy jars at Dollar Tree I wish I would have gotten more um, but that one I just right before I recorded this it fell and I couldn't find it and I stepped on it and that's how I found it and <laughs> cracked the lid but oh well and then my solo wood flowers I didn't realize I had so many but they're so pretty I wanted to have them out to bring some color into the space and then of course all of my Dollar Tree signs that I have hung up this little cart here I had bought from Walmart a few months ago and I used it for all of my ribbons but they were constantly falling out and so I did something different, I'll show you in a minute, but I just put my, like my jute twine, my burlap ribbons, um, some bigger ribbons there, my burlap, my colorful twine from Dollar Tree. Um, then I have some chicken wire and a basket of miscellaneous small pieces of ribbon and some more burlap there and then here's a project I've been working on since before the 4th of July it's taking forever to weed it <laughs> so there's some plungers that I got I promised my sister I'd make her a tea towel holder and I still haven't done it um, then I have some shovels and my five gallon stir sticks and then my longer sticks that I got from Amazon I have a bow maker down there I still have not used it and I need to get that out and I need to try it but this thing's on wheels so it makes it a little easier to pull it out and then I have my miter saw in there then I have that bin with all my books I'm still trying to figure out what exactly to do with them but I uh, thought I would just put them there and that is some stuff I'm gonna be working on I've got this little bin here that I thought this is a good thing to do for when I'm getting ready to craft I can put all the stuff that I think I'm gonna use and put it in there and then that way it's right there and ready to go. And then when I'm done, if there's stuff in it I haven't used, I can just go put it away. And then here I have this. I've had this for a while. It used to be in my laundry room until we moved. And I had cupboards in my laundry room because my old house had the laundry room in the garage. So um, not really a room. But I used this and I had all my paints in it and it keep kept tipping over and one day it tipped over and my rust-oleum paint was lid was not on all the way and I got paint all over the carpet luckily my sister was here and she knew how to get it up quickly and um, she was a big help on that but I used those napkin holders and paper towel holders from Dollar Tree to make my uh, little holder for the small apple barrel paints and then I did the same thing with the Waverly they don't fit like they're too uh, round, wide, 
whatever, um, to fit in like the apple barrel. So I just kind of uh, stood them up. They, they fit okay, They're, they kind of tilt a little bit, but it works for now. And then those are just my paint markers. I'll probably find some kind of containers to put those in, as well as my bigger paint brushes that don't fit in my paint brush holder. And then I'll go on the other side. Then I just have my spray paints, some paper towels, and just some miscellaneous painting supplies and extra uh, hot glue guns down there. And then uh, I bought the, the little paint brush organizer from the Dollar Tree. I bought that. This turns, which I love, and this is from uh, Amazon. Move this over a little bit. Um, then that little fan to help cool me off when I'm having those, you know, fun heat flashes, whatever. Uh, <laughs> then I bought that candlestick. It was only I think I had the four dollars and seventy-four cents from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I can get to do something with it. Not sure what yet, but for now, my little ladybug is resting on it. Then I bought those, um, these little things to hold all my vinyl uh, from Amazon. And then I have a basket of glue, um, all my glues and stuff like that. And, um, some paper towels and stuff like that. Then this is what I did for my ribbons. I went to um, Walmart and bought some dowels and then I am just using these chains like that and the hooks um, to hold them up and that's uh, that's what I'm trying out hopefully that works out we'll see I'm really about convenience and if I don't like the way it works I will probably change it out to something else and I have my Cricut here and then down here I have a basket that has like my mats and some contact paper and shipping paper, wrapping paper, that kind of stuff. And my little pee pads that I like to use for painting. And since I'm using a card table as my craft table, I have no drawers. So I bought this little beauty on Amazon. It's hard to see, but the, the drawers pull out. So I have paint, as you can see, and then paint down here on my way really chart paint, so it's easily accessible. And then this basket has some more of my paints that I use most, as well as my hot glue gun, our heat glue gun, and my Mod Podge there too. And then over here, I bought this a few months ago to hold like my um, vinyl that's not in rolls as well as my, some of my um, transfer tape that I like to try to reuse, and then my loose papers, and just some miscellaneous stuff. And then I bought this one, this is the same as the one that holds the paint, but I bought this and I just got some of my tools and stuff to use, um, so that way it's, it's easily accessible and I can pull it out. That is my backdrop for when I take pictures. It is just foam core board, two of them taped together, and then some contact paper over them. And I'm thinking I'm gonna try to um, use this area here to lay it out, and, but we'll see, we'll see if that works. I might have to take it into another room. I'm trying to avoid having to take it into another room. Uh, if I could just do it all in here, it make it easier. And there's a little wreath I made that I just love. That I would have it in here so when I do my intros, if I do them in here, at least you have a little something pretty to look at. And then I have these shelves up here that uh, we put up here when I first started crafting. Um, and I just need to kind of organize what's in those little bins, but that will come sooner. That will come soon enough. <laughs> I think that is pretty much everything. Um, yeah. So it took me a while to get this all done. I really wanted to work on or participate on Heidi Samble's um, craft room tour that she did a couple weeks ago. But with my family reunion and everything, I just did not have time to get it all done. But I just finished it today and now it's time to get crafting. So we will see you guys soon. So have a great day. <laughs> Bye.